guys, Dennis Letter Magic here. Let's talk about the launch of the new Lord of the Rings set, which you darn well better be boycotting because I am, and everybody is super done with Watsy's crap. And Budweiser, and Call of Duty, and Target. This is the year of we're coming for your wallet. You better watch what you say, because we're not letting you get away with it anymore. Anyway, did somebody open the One Ring? No. Everyone opened the One Ring. Some guy in Brazil opened the One Ring. Some lady out in France opened the One Ring. You know what? I opened the One Ring. Your mom opened the One Ring. These nuts opened the One Ring. You know why? Because there's more than one The One Ring, because these absolute morons showed exactly precisely what it looks like in real life with the foiling treatment, the spacing, and everything, after showing a digital copy with a disclaimer that said, this is not necessarily what it looks like, this is just a digital render. So they could have hidden one little thing or reversed the, the, the art or like something only they would know so that the counterfeiters wouldn't be able to create counterfeits out ahead of this product. I guess they didn't think of that. I didn't even look, but I bet you if I typed into Google right now within about five seconds, I could get a 12 pack of them for about $6.99. Actually, that seems low. I have quite literally never shopped for or bought proxies. I have no idea. And by proxies, I mean counterfeits. Proxies would be proxies if they had the word proxy on them. I've already seen pictures of people who said, oh, look, I pulled five of them and they don't look photoshopped. <laughs> So the latest person to come out with a convincing looking photo that allegedly lives in Brazil, pero does not have the rest of the cards in the background in Portuguese. Isn't that interesting? Now I could check if this set was even printed in Portuguese, but that would require me to give a shit. But that guy uh, tweeted out, hey, look what I got. Ooh, Brazil, yay, woo. And then a bunch of people replied, that's fake and you're a liar. And he replied calling them racist. Literally after we've had like two weeks straight of people pretending to pull it and faking photos. Once you pull out that race card, I know the rest of your cards are just as fake as that photo. So there's a theory going around that Watsy wants to sell their like 40 plus dollar booster packs, aka really expensive scratch off lottery tickets that have almost no chance of winning, uh, to the highest possible print to order degree, potentially. And so the collector's boosters are gonna be included in a future project that comes out way later in the year. So if they know that those will be held to process separately in a different packing facility at a higher serial number, wouldn't they put them in there? Now, and I ask that as an actual question, not even rhetorically, because is it legal to do that? Or do you, by law, have to create, like, a random number generator, not just, oh, this looks good visually and call that random enough. But they're only in the English boosters, uh, which I believe are created in Texas, and they don't have any kind of optical sorting or anything. They would almost have to just... But not like, okay, here's here's a one through a million sequence number. We're putting it in seven, two, three, four, whatever. No, they would just have to go, okay, we're putting it in right now. Or set a timer or something. I haven't heard any description of how they did this, which I think that alone you have to disclose how you did it. The method of, of randomness to prove it if somebody requests it, I think. I don't know giveaway in like lottery laws too well, believe it or not. But I do know that if this was actually pulled in Brazil, he's probably already been robbed. Like, imagine if you took delusional, racist, greedy, crooked assholes that run San Francisco and then put them in charge of a whole country and you've basically got Brazil ahora. Es mal. I know I'm not even speaking Portuguese, I'm speaking Spanish, but you know what? You know what? Es propio cerca. So in conclusion, we're probably never going to know because Watsi was too stupid to market in a way that is uniquely identifiable despite that being how uh, police have done, like, investigations for the longest time. Like, if there's some serial killer, they're going to have, you know, 15 people come forward and say, oh, it was me, because, you know, they're mentally deranged, but in some weird different way. And they'll say, okay, here's a couple facts that we held back. What color was this? What position was this? What about the weapon was unique? And they purposely didn't give that information out publicly to the media. Then when somebody comes forward and wants to prove something, they can say, hey, this is this unique thing that verifies uh, uniquely that I have information uh, that proves my, my story. That could have been phrased a better way, but you get the gist of it. So you know what? Okay, without even buying a, a single booster, I opened it and then I ate it. So, um, you know, prove that I didn't. Now, way more important news, about 16 injuries in like eight weeks later, we finally got the tree down in my backyard. Everybody who's been on my live streams knows that that tree was the greatest enemy that mankind has ever seen, and it has finally been vanquished, and I am still alive, barely. We did manage to, I, I don't know how you would really count this, but I would say break three chainsaws, but it's like break three chainsaws more than three times, and we almost dropped it on our neighbor's garage. 
and the shed in my backyard is pretty much destroyed. But you know what? When we get the pros to come by and say, we're not touching that, and it's literally their job, and then I just borrow a ladder from my brother, and me and my friend go to the Chinese buffet, and then come home and try and pull it over with a rope, among other ideas, <laughs> shit's going down. Directly on my shed, and the telecom lines, and the tree next to it. We pretty much destroyed everything that wasn't a structure. Oh, and the shed. But you know what? I'm already burning pieces of it in front of the remaining stump while flipping it off and looking at it menacingly. So, who won this match, okay? Yes, I am still redoing my bandages on my right arm, but that's not important, okay? I could still use the mouse. Who cares? Okay, I had to pad the video somehow with some entertaining crap because nobody wants to hear about this stupid set. But it turns out this product now has Chase Dice. That's right. Dice now have rarities. Now, apparently they've done this before. I wouldn't know because I haven't bought paper products in quite some time, at least a couple years. And uh, actually, the last pack I opened was one I found in my couch while moving it to get fiber installed. But people are telling me that uh, Phyrexia had one that was, you know, roughly 1 in 20, somewhere in that neighborhood. Now, see, that I don't have a problem with. I've said this before. It's like, yeah, it's kind of promoting, you know, loot box, gambling, negative, whatever, but like... If you're susceptible to that stuff, that's not just some factor that's going to come in, slap you in the face, and ruin your life, okay? It's just like people dumb enough to fall for stupid, like, investment scams, and they send, like, 10 grand because they think some Nigerian prince is going to send them something. If it wasn't for that, somebody that stupid and careless and idiotic with no common sense would have found a way, on their own or with somebody else's help, to lose all their money. Stupid people are just stupid. Weak people are just weak, and people who make bad decisions tend to make bad decisions everywhere in their life. That said, I don't like it because it's stupid, you know, manipulative crap and it's a garbage uh, business model, but, well, Watsy. But you can make something as rare as you want as long as I don't need it to play the game. I have said that before and I'll say it again. While, it, it, I, to me, it's just a fun little bonus thing to pull, and if you really want to just go buy the damn thing, I doubt it's above, like, ten bucks. Now, during the Phyrexia one, uh, I'm getting unconfirmed reports that certain store owners... Got, you know, the pre-release kits in packs of 15, because that's how you order them. And exactly one in 15 of them had the die. And you could tell it was that one, because they ran them off in a separate sequence, obviously. Pretty hard to load 15 dice, and then every, like, 15 is a different one into a hopper, and then do that correctly and get them on the right serial numbers. So you just flip them over, look at the serial numbers, find the one that's not in sequence, and that one had the die in it. That's right. Searchable boxes. I guess they learned nothing from the disaster that was box mapping. So, I can't confirm if that was the case with these as well, but I guess some announcement that went out to stores that I didn't see is claiming that it's a 1 in 10. I would put money on them making the same mistake twice this time around with the serial numbers. So, here's the problem. One person posted a picture saying, here's the chase die. Another person posted a picture saying, this is the chase die. I think one person said pre-release and one person said bundle, so I guess they both have different chase dice, but my god, if that's true, the bundle one looks immensely better. It's like gold, I guess you would say filigree almost, or like, I don't know, it looks kind of like Harry Potter style. I guess you could say Lord of the Rings, but it does look more English. Then again, how, how would you get more English than Lord of the Rings? I don't know, it just doesn't quite match, but hey, it kind of looks like elven writing, whatever. The problem is, from any kind of distance, you can't read the damn thing. And so the whole comment section is people arguing, no, that's the standard one. Well, but the marketing pictures show this, and that's a different one. But what if there's different colors? Nobody knows. Like, I guess either not enough people give enough of a shit to go on Reddit and clear this up. I know I personally don't give enough of a shit to, like, you know, actually research this for more than five seconds. Because it's such a non-issue, and I don't want to hype up Watsy's stupid products. Especially this one. Or, like, they're all wrong, this doesn't even exist, and it's just a variation, and people are just stupid. Or Watsy got their product image wrong, or, in my opinion, they just, like, ran out, didn't produce enough, or the, I don't know, they shipped the wrong amount of, like, the first color, and so they sent out the second one. I don't know, I don't care, it's just another Watsy embarrassment. And if you want my official opinion on whether or not the One Ring was, uh, found in Brazil, I think not, because, one, the gold doesn't look correct, and, two, it's not curved enough. Oh, also in a second shot of it, um, the foiling looks all wrong. Like, not even close. But if you don't believe it, it's because you're a racist asshole. 
As we all know, no crime and no counterfeiting and no uh, publicity stunts have ever come out of Brazil, or statistically at a higher rate than other countries on average, and if you think they are, then math is lies created by the patriarchy, and you're a terrible person. Can't wait to see it actually get pulled in the um, gift boxes. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll keep you posted on the rest of the crazy news around this nonsense, and I'll see you guys next time.